there's only one thing I love, it's playing League of Legends. If there's one thing I love even more... No, 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 there. It's having Mastery 6 on my favorite champion. That being said, welcome everybody to what I hope to be the first episode in a series named and simply called In the Eyes of a Silver. Champion guides and things of that nature like that is what we are here for. That is our existence. And that is why I come to you on my favorite champion, the only Mastery 7 I own. To my name so far. Because why not? Vigar is... How should I put this? Vigar is the champion that... He's like Nasus. But if that's if you gave Nasus like performance enhancing drugs to the point that Nasus was beefed out beyond belief and could carry games by himself. That's Vigar. Not in the early game, but anyway. For those who aren't unaware, let's go ahead and we'll go through all of Vigar's abilities as we get them. The first being his passive, Phenomenal Evil Power. Every time you bitch slap somebody in their face with an ability of any kind, Q, a W, your R, even your even your stun that does no damage, you will gain a stack of AP. You'll gain one stack, which will go on your little phenomenal evil power bar right there, to show that hey, that Vigar got a stack. It's getting beefy. Yeah. Almost missed that CS. Then we have Vigar's Q, Baleful Strike, which is the bread and butter of this little shit. Upon cast, you fire out a little projectile. As with the default skin, it's a little blue ball, but with, with Final Boss, it's a nice little... Nice little, uh, Link to the Past wizard projectile thing. Fires them from his auto attacks too, I think. Doesn't he? No, he just fires little, little things from his auto attacks. Now here's the fun part about Baleful Strike. If you kill anything, anything in the game with Baleful Strike, oh my dear god, she, she, she decided she wanted to get spicy with me. You, you want to get spicy, do you, Zaya? Ow, she, she hurts a lot. Well, there goes Master Yi. Now, with Vigar's Q, when you kill something, you'll get AP. Plain and simple. That, it's, it's the bread and butter ability for this little shit. It's what you'll be using the most. If you kill a large minion or a champion with it, you get two AP instead of just one. Long and the short. I gotta be careful, this this bitch hurts. I was not expecting Zaya mid to be a thing. Nope. I'm going over here. Oh god. I would rather that we plain I would rather that we not. Little miss uh little missy miss. I'd rather that we not. I gotta be careful because there's a Zaya throwing feather daggers everywhere. She's spooky. Spooky Zaya, spooky. Get out of here. Now then, now that we've got our other basic abilities, Vigar's W, Dark Matter, or Swag Matter, if you feel like calling it that, is an ability that is by far what makes people go <gasps> when they see a late game Vigar's damage. With an 100% AP ratio and a very telegraphed uh, attack. Not only that, it's also AoE, which makes it even more retarded. It is that thing that when you slap it down on, on some unsuspecting fool, that their health bar is going to be disappearing faster than a nerd stayed on prom night. Unless, of course, that nerd actually found a good person, in which case, good for them. <laughs> then we have the Event Horizon, which is Vigar's E. You've seen me throwing it down a few times. 
Upon cast, you channel a big fucking cage that if anybody, if anything touches the cage, they, it gets stunned from anywhere from 1.5 to 2.5 seconds. It is too much. It is, in my belief, the longest stun in the game. Ooh, she, she hurts. She's also almost out of mana. Still, she, she hurts a lot more than I would, than I would appreciate, than I'm appreciating. Pop that minion before I back. Pop over here, give me this, give me this, give me this. I'm gonna need to teleport back in lane because that's Isaiah. Now then, Vigar's cage does have Vigar's swag matter and his cage both have a uh, a delay before they activate. As you've seen, every time I've thrown down my big old box, that uh, it takes some time before the box actually manifests itself. Gotta call that. Gotta call that Mia. I don't. I still don't quite know what Zaya is capable of, and I'd rather not deal with a wild Zaya appearing. I could go gank this. Uh... Oh, I don't know if she's aware. Is she aware? Is she? Is she aware of what's about to happen to her? Is she? Is she aware? You know? hey, oh, I'm I'm coming in there. I'm coming in there. I'm coming in hot. I'm coming in to, to do some spicy things. Oh hey! Fuck! No. Fuck! Nah, we're just gonna just gonna blockade you off because you don't deserve to get to do anything over here. Oh my god. <laughs> yes, there we go. Mm. Now Something fun about Phenomenal Evil Power is that whenever that Vigar participates in a kill or gets it himself, he gains 5 AP. You heard me. That's 5 damage on your swag matter. That's that's a little under or over 5 on your ult. And it's like 3 damage on your Q. Basically, it's everything you don't want to get in the way of. You can keep an eye on my stacks right over here, right above my experience bar. Right above your little passive icon, right there. You can keep an eye on how many stacks you got so you can tell if you're stacking to your optimum potential. I could be about to do some very spicy things to this Zaya right about now. Are you entirely certain you want to do that? You just saw, like, almost all of your health just go away in an instant. The thing is, Vigar, I don't actually know when his damage spikes happen. I just know that when they do, it is one of the most horrifying things in League of Legends. You could have sworn that Vigar did no damage the last time you saw him. Then he shows up and nukes you faster than... Faster, well, I'd say faster than a mini nuke nukes the nukes the everything in Fallout. Faster than a giant can kill you in in Skyrim. Okay, well, I can set. I usually say Karma, no flash. Go get him, Trundle! Yum! I didn't get anything out of it, sadly. I'll sacrifice that ring. Actually, no, I won't. I won't sacrifice the ring. I don't want to sacrifice my rings. I like my rings. My rings are useful. Mm. Grab the scuttle. 
up river. So Kindred can't get it. Oh, she's going for it already. I see her. I see her going there. I gotta meander my way down there and, uh... Hi, Kindred! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> I, I love my ultimate. Speaking of which, we may as well go ahead and discuss it. Vygar's ultimate primordial burst. And with the kind of damage it does, I'd, I'd say it's very, very, very true that it, it does have a lot of burst. It's one of the abilities in this game that makes anybody and that makes anybody fear a Vygar once they start to once their health starts to drop. It's that thing that makes you go, hey look, you wanna see a magic trick? Speaking of magic... Let me just casually take away over half your health without my ultimate. If I had my ultimate, you'd be dead right now. But I'll just wait for my E to, show up, to come back up again and... I would rather that we not, Karma. I fucking hate Karma. It's such a passion. This karma is making me hate life. Please keep the pressure so she can't leave. I'm just asking my team to keep some pressure on her so she can't just leave her lane. Oh, she is very... She's about to be very dead. Hello, world. Rakan is single now. What's up, babe? Did this make that ass? <laughs> I fucking hate this community, but I love this game. <sighs> anyway, back to talking about Vygar. Primordial Burst's damage is based or is based off of the target's missing health. It's that thing that makes you explode, Squishies. It's the thing that makes any tank in the game just go, <gasps> when they see your damage hitting them and they realize they had better back the fuck up before that before you hit them with that ultimate. Because if you do, their existence is going to be nothing more than a skid mark. Now, as you can see, it does 170 plus 160. Do, do you? Ah, and I'm dead. I'm fucking dead. I'm fucking dead. I am. Akan, just wait in the mid river, please. So if she shows up. Dies. It's just her showing up is just making me hate life right now. Go, misfortune. Never mind, misfortune. I I just if I had landed my abilities on that karma, everything would have been fine. But then the karma killed me, and it's just like. Like, I hate Karma with a passion because she just shows up in my lane and, hate, and does things. Anyway, your ult will do about 75% of your AP if, it, if they're at full health, ranging to 150% if they're at 33% or lower. Just just in case any of you wanted to, wanted to hear about that math. Oh, dear God. Um... No, no, ye, take this, take it, 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 kill it, kill it dead. What folly it is to snatch our marks. Thank you. Thank you. 
I see you over there. I could hurt you. I could hurt you a lot. Oh, Yi doesn't even need us. I'm just gonna casually do some damage to ya. champions in the equation makes it a little difficult to gauge how much damage I'm gonna actually- <laughs> Get out of here! Bad. Bad Evelyn. Ash, no flash. Eat. Eat. Yeah. Really prioritize those cannon minions because they're worth two. Yeah. Ah. Oh shit! My face! Ew! My beautiful tiny face! Oh shit! It's just spooked. I don't have anything. Feeding. An ally has been slain. <sighs> Let's get some items. What I highly, uh, what I highly suggest to anybody that wants to learn Vigar, start yourself off with some Sork shoes and a hunting, guys. From there, you want to work your way on up to, you want to work your way on up to a Void Staff. You want to stack that magic penetration. You want to have so much of it that everyone in the game looks at you and just goes. <gasps> When you hit them with anything that you throw at them. It's kind of retarded. It's kind of fun. Because, you know, having 48 flat magic penetration just does that to people. It makes them gasp when you hit them because it's just like, oh, oh, he hurts. He hurts a lot. She, she might be very dead. Yeah, she's very dead. That is one very dead Zaya. Hello, friends. I'm kind of helping. And, thanks to the mage pushing patch. Oh shit, there's a wild karma. Wild karma appeared. Eh. Now I highly advise that you put four points into meditation and one point in executioner. Do you want to smell it? What the fuck? I'm spooked. There's an ash. Even though she doesn't have her arrow, she still spooks me. I'm gonna just box! I could kill you with a thought, Karma! Everybody quick. Quick. Never mind. Things the right way. It's awesome. Shut down. Damn it. They found me out. Meditation restore my mana. I'm missing so much of it. Oh shit, that, that, that's still Zaya doing Zaya things. She's still spooky. She's still sp new spooky burb. Ow. Ah, 
I need to figure out how much I need for my void staff. Yes, I, I'm about 500 gold away. D D Ev Evelyn, what what are you doing, Evelyn? Evelyn, 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 girl, what what do you think you're? Oh my God. Fuck. <laughs> no one expects my damage. I'm no longer feeding. I have redeemed myself. Uh, I also advise that you rush these three items first. From there, if you want to do the most first possible, I advise an abyssal scepter and a proto belt. Proto belt for this old purpose of rushing into that and that enemy champion that you just don't like anymore so you can blow him up plus proto belt does damage and if you've got thunderlords like me which why wouldn't you it scales off your ap and everything which apparently now also scales off ad for whatever reason ain't that a thing eh. am i gonna be able to take this probably not i don't think i can take this this dragon hurts i don't think i can take this dragon Right away! Spooked! I have no health, I was trying to... I was trying to solo that dragon. Mistakes. Alright. I'm gonna teleport in there, I think. Come on, minions. First fortune, I want to take the CS from you. Let me have them. Oh, you're dead. That feel of just, oh, you're dead. Oh, you're dead too. I wasn't even able to get full build. All I did was just auto things, kind of. Sometimes. Occasionally. And if you have it, just because you can. You can also. And there we go. Thank you everybody so much for watching. This has been Stoneheart007. I will catch you all in the next one. But for now, you've been watching Stoneheart. Playing a random video game for your amusement.